Welcome to another episode of the Simple Sari. Today on the show, we're going to make fruit pizza. Now, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to make a sugar cookie crust in a bowl. I have one stick of butter, which is equivalent to a half a you know a half a cup of butter. And it was really hot today, and my butter. You really want your butter at room temperature. Mine really melted because it's hot and humid outside. Even though we got the air on, it's still melting. To that, we're going to put in a half a cup of sugar, granulated sugar, one egg, large one large egg, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're just going to mix this. Now we're going to put one and a half cups of flour. And I'm using gluten-free flour. You can use all-purpose regular flour. And one cup already went in. Here's my half. Then a fourth a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. And a teaspoon of baking powder. Here's half. Get another one for teaspoon. And we're going to give it a mix. You just want to make sure you've got all your flour and everything incorporated. You've got no more dry. I cut back the sugar on this recipe. I called for a three-fourths cup of sugar. So if you want your sugar cookie really sweet, then do three-fourths cup. I went to a half a cup because our topping is going to go on this a little bit sweet and so is our fruit. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. A rectangle baking sheet or baking pan, whatever you want to call it. And I took my little paper that our butter comes in and greased my uh, baking pan or cookie sheet real good. So stuff won't stick. Now you can do this as a rectangle or square or circle. The dough can go uh, big as a 12 inch pizza pan. So however you want to do it. You can roll this out and make little make little individual fruit pizzas. And you can take your hand or your spatula and we're just going to spread our sugar cookie dough out. All the way to the edge. When you roll it out you might need flour you know so it won't stick and stuff. If you're making like the little individual ones. Okay, I think I got it spread it out evenly as I can. Now into a pre 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for about about 15 to 20 minutes. You'll notice, notice when it's done because it gets brown around the edges. Okay, now we're going to make our spread topping for fruit pizza. Now on a bowl, I've got 8 ounce pack of cream cheese. It's at room temperature. You know, I like that yogurt cream cheese. You can use regular cream cheese. And we're just going to give it a beat with the beat. I wanted to whip that a little bit before I started putting everything else in. Now we're going to put in a tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice with a zest of a lemon. You can do orange or lime, or if you don't want citrus flavor, leave this out and then substitute it for water or milk. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we're gonna sweeten it with honey. Or you can do sugar, or galve, or stevia, whatever or sugar substitute, whatever you have. We're gonna do about two tablespoons. And we're gonna give it a mix. You wanna make sure you're cool, your sugar cookie crust, Real well chill it if you have to. What I did was I waited for it to cool down at room temperature in my pan and then I stuck the pan and everything in the refrigerator. And then you're just going to spread your cream cheese topping. All the way out to the edge, but don't go over the edge. Okay, I got our cream cheese topping spread. Now this comes the fun part, where you use any fruit that you like, 
or you have on hand to decorate your fruit pizza. I got some sliced strawberries. I thought I'd do, you could do designs, whatever you could. I thought I'd do strawberries around the rim. It's like a border. You just wanna make sure you wash your fruit when you bring it home. Make sure you let your fruit dry off too after you wash it before you start slicing it up. I put some sliced cabbages that I have drained and rinsed off all the syrup and then I put them in a bowl with pepper towels to kind of soak up any moisture that's left. So I'm just going to randomly lay them. Now we're going to come with some blackberries and some canned mandarin oranges and I did them the same way as the peaches. And then we're going to come with blueberries. You don't have to make a design, you can just drop them anywhere. Have them all spread out. Now I'm coming with some cherries. Now I'm gonna come back with some sweetened coconut or unsweetened coconut and sprinkle the top of them. You can do chopped nuts, you can drizzle with honey or any of the fr little fruit syrups. You can also sweeten your cream cheese with the jam or fruit preserves too. There you have it, fruit pizza. There she is, sliced the fruit peaches, so you can see what it looks like. This is a wonderful dish to take potlucks, cookouts, parties, wedding showers, baby showers, church picnics, and then you just slice it up and serve it however big slices that you want. There you have it, fruit pizza my way.